hello and welcome to my tube my name is sonia if you're new here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to the gang gang now buddies today right i would like us to talk about um something very shocking in the body of christ yo i, I thought i've seen it all guys i thought i have seen it all until i downloaded tiktok and I started scrolling on TikTok. I was there checking, 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 checking. Now, they, I came across a man of God. Okay, this was actually also something that happened like way, way, way back. But I came across a man of God. I think his name is Pastor John. I'm going to put the video, right, uh, probably somewhere, you know, so that we can watch and deliver it together. Okay, so let me just quickly just play the video because, guys, you, you I want you to, 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 to see what I'm talking about. So let's play the video. <laughs> <laughs> now guys i don't know who this man thinks he is i don't know bible is reading i don't know who told him that he is the most faithful servant of god okay so this man right he refuses to walk on self sinful ground and he chooses, right? He chooses to be carried wherever he goes. Okay, now this is in Kenya, guys. Kenyans. Let's get right here. Okay. So he chooses to be carried around because he cannot. His explanation, his reasoning is that he cannot walk on sinful ground. Right? Until the congregation, not himself, until the con congregation buys him a Range Rover. And this Range Rover is the latest 2030 2023 model now are you thinking what i'm thinking okay first and foremost when i saw that video when i saw that clip oh actually when i saw the post i was thinking to myself wow he must be breathing flavored oxygen right he must be uh, breathing oxygen straight from the garden of eden where before the sin yeah? so how do you as a man of god a servant of god look down on the creation of god like you are like okay fine the ground is sinful so what about the air you are breathing is that not contaminated by sin and also how is that biblical i don't understand please give me a scripture in the comment section down below if any of you have a scripture to tell me that the ground is a sinful place okay apart from the one in genesis where god uh, there's a scripture in genesis uh, uh, chapter three i think after the sin right where god cursed he said cursed is the ground for your sake Cursed is the ground for your sake. But then when the Messiah came, when Jesus Christ came, he made us a blessing, right? Meaning if I walk on the ground, the ground is blessed. I don't know. How is that interpretation? So which part? Maybe this guy reads the Bible while he is facing upside down. Maybe the, he only saw that the sin, the, the ground is sinful. Because I'm asking myself, okay, what about the food he's eating? What about the clothes he's wearing? What about the... the the things that he's using in his daily life what about the chairs in the church what about the church building itself is it not built with the same sinful ground make it make sense guys make it make sense i don't know for me this is just a lot of i'm sorry to say but this does not even edify the church that he is preaching in and i also have a question to the followers like how do you in your right mind just this papa let's carry you carry they go let's carry you you know because oh i don't know maybe the land in kenya is very sinful please come to namibia so that you can walk on the ground namibia ground is is very much blessed okay <laughs> so yeah i really had a good laugh with it and i just thought to myself that the things that these people make their congregations congregants do it's absurd and you as a congregant member please open your eyes Vula Mero, open your eyes guys hmm? let us not be taken for right by these so-called papas and so-called men of gods no 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 please if it's of the bible show me where exactly it is in the bible and show me where in the bible it says that thou shall carry the, the men of god from henceforth what what before what what because sin prevails so i'm not thinking to myself that he thinks so highly of himself that he should be carried but eh, eh, his congregant should should step on the ground so the math here is not missing. I, the, my, my mathematics is not missing here because I don't, I don't understand. 
actually his reasoning why should he be the one to be lifted up high and lifted up and then the congregants should walk on sinful, sinful ground please what is your opinion please put it down in, in the comment section down below and yeah <laughs> i will see you in my next video guys but i really really had a great laugh with this one i will not even lie i just think it's absurd i think it's sad and i also think it's funny as well okay so guys i will see you in my next video bye